The main factor that enables a living being to dive into water is its body being heavier than water. Accordingly, the kingfisher, which weighs 40 grams and is 18 centimeters tall, should remain above water whenever it tried to dive and would be unable to hunt since it could not dive into water. However, contrary to what is thought, the kingfisher catches its prey skillfully whenever it dives. The kingfisher, which feeds on fish and is a skilled fisher, patiently watches the water from the place where it is perched. When it sees a fish, it prepares to dive, taking into account the refraction of light in water. Flapping its wings and accelerating, it flies toward the water. If the fish is close to the surface, it grabs the fish easily. If the fish is below the surface, it will unite its wings and dive into the water like an arrow. They do this without hesitation, without error, and with great skill. They can sometimes catch more than one fish at one time. The kingfisher, which can dive into water with a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, can catch its prey 60 centimeters deep. Then it turns around itself, flaps its wings by using them as paddles, and goes up. It takes the bird, which has a perfect timing so as not to miss the prey, only three seconds to dive and to come up to the surface. The kingfisher covers a distance 414 times its length in such a short time, which means it can move as fast as a warplane. If we compare a kingfisher's hunting ability with that of a human being, it is equivalent to a man diving down to 26 meters into water and returning up with a prey as big as a shepherd dog in three seconds. After this astonishing information, we are now looking for answers to the following questions. Flying, diving, and hunting are difficult tasks necessitating knowledge, training, and experience. How did this little bird become so professional in flying, diving, and hunting? Who trained it and made it so skillful? How did it obtain the body structure that enables it to dive into water and catch its prey deep underwater, though its body is lighter than water? What cause and coincidence put these devices into its body? The fish that the kingfisher wants to catch is in a different position than it is seen because of the different degrees of refraction of light in water and air. How does a bird without optical knowledge solve this physics problem? This seemingly small but great and wonderful kingfisher, in terms of art, tells us about Allah, who trains it and astonishes people with his art with all of its deeds. Then, it is irrational and illogical to try to explain the existence of this bird with coincidence and chance.